What's up, guys? Nice, crisp day outside. Enjoying a little bit of the usual on the back porch. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm eating again because when your great great aunt brings you <clears throat> homemade chocolate covered almonds, you never say no. I'm a big fan of <clears throat> survival fiction books on <clears throat> with fictional stories related to survival preparedness etc and <clears throat> there's a reason why why well <clears throat> Survival fiction gives us an opportunity to <clears throat> kind of war game different scenarios, right? And as many times as I try to hypothetically what if scenarios in my head, <clears throat> sometimes it helps to have an external person's what if scenario for us to then work through ourselves from our point of view and that's where I like having books on you know, survival fictional stories it gives you an actual storyline that as you're reading it <clears throat> you can see what the author has the characters do but then you can put yourself in that situation as you're reading and go okay what would I do <clears throat> What would I want to have? Um, would I do things the same way? Would I do things differently? How would I do them differently? Would I want the same items, tools, equipment, yada, yada, yada? Would I want things different? <clears throat> and it lets you, you know, go through that in your mind on top of just being entertaining in general, right? Now, there's been a lot of good books out for a long time. I'm sure you're all probably familiar with... with a lot of them. The caveat with these books is, in my opinion, whether the author intended it to be or not, don't take them as the gospel truth. Some authors write books that are, from their perspective, what they think is a handbook. Here's how they think you should do it, which is fine. They're, they're completely entitled to that. But regardless of the author, I never take any of them that way. I always look at them as, okay, here's what the author's setting up. Now, I put my own spin on it as far as the what ifs and all that kind of stuff. So don't, don't think of it as a handbook and this is what you have to do or should do whatever people get too wrapped around the axle on that so that's it I've read most of the major ones out there um, and if you've been here a while you know that I did a little reading of a buddy of mine's story cold camp which is still probably one of my top favorites um, I've, I've done all the other big names I've got a real close personal friend that is uh, a fairly, fairly well-known author of a, of a series of uh, crap at the van type of books. I'm going to have him on one day, so I'm not telling you who he is just yet. Some of you may already know, but anyway, that said, rambling on, um, <clears throat> apparently I've been living under a rock sometime in the past I don't know, uh, four or five years, and didn't know about a series of books being wrote by someone that I recently come across, and I, I heard a, uh, or watched an interview, rather, with the author, and was just like, you know, listening to what he was saying, and his answers to different questions and all, and I was just kind of like, holy crap, this guy kind of thinks a lot like I do. 
and he's wrote books. What what books? Then I go looking, and I'm, I'm finding them, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I've been living under a rock for years now because he's had them out for a few years, and I had no clue about them. So, that said, what is the book series, you ask? That would be the Going Home series by Angry American. Like I said, been living under a rock, apparently. Picked this one up as soon as I heard about it, um, about the series. And about, and after the first chapter, I was having a real hard time putting it down. And I'm not a, I mean, I like to read, but I'm not one, usually, to get books and just read, 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 read. It usually takes me a while to, to get through a book, even one that I really like. I did this one in less than a week, because uh, I just had to read when I wasn't working but really had a hard time putting it down and knew a quarter of the way through it, I knew I was going to have to do the whole series. <clears throat> no way. I couldn't not do it. So I'm already a quarter of the way through the second book and I'm already looking forward to the others and I'm not even halfway through that one yet. So. On the off chance that there's any of you guys living under the same rock that I was living under, there they are. I highly encourage you to uh, go check them out. <clears throat> the way he writes the story is from a very down-to-earth, everyday kind of guy point of view. Um, he doesn't try to come across as an expert, though he apparently is on quite a few things, in my opinion. He doesn't try to portray this as a manual, though there are lots of things that he does in the various situations and scenarios and events in the story that I think are spot on from my point of view. Little things here or there that I would change or do differently, but a lot of that's got to do with personal preference. I don't necessarily find fault with the way he had the character and characters in the story do things or what they used or whatnot. Uh, on some of the stuff, he, he's fairly detailed on items, which some people don't like, I do. I, I, I like that detail because the detail can be important sometimes because there are a lot of things out there that all fit in the same boat. I'm trying to think of just a generic example. Um, <clears throat> but like... I don't know, for lack of a better word, getting a pair of pants. You can get cheap, uh, foreign-made, uh, quote-unquote, tactical pants off eBay for dirt cheap. You can get something like True Spec or Proper, or you can get something up there like... Uh, 511 cry precision vertex <clears throat> so you've got the real cheap low end the good solid middle ground and then the real high you know quote unquote gucci end i think it's important that he points that out because somebody could read that and just go by the scenario that he's laying out and think okay well i need to go get a pair of pants oh well these right here are the cheapest when a lot of times you know me, I'm, I'm about maximizing my dollar for my bang for the buck. There's a certain level that I won't go below and a happy medium that I like to stay in. 
and it kind of gives you ideas of where you need to be when it comes to picking out stuff so that you don't get the, the, the crappy stuff that's try, that they try to pawn off as being you know, serviceable and as good as other things. That, I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Another little tidbit that I really like, um, very, very realistic and down to earth with some things that I have done video rants on myself and mentioned ad nauseum in videos and I still see, you know, tons of, I mean, there's no way that one little person like me could counter, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I see a lot of people floating what I consider to be some pretty serious misconceptions on certain aspects of survival preparedness, etc. And <clears throat> he, he uh, points some of those out in the story, which I was jumping up and down cheering as, as I'm reading, you know, and he's, he's pointing this stuff out. So long-winded way of me saying... I really love uh, the Survivalist series from Angry American. I, I encourage you to go check it out. Um, read it. Ask yourself questions while you're reading it. What would you do in the situations that he presents? What would you want to have? What would you not want to have? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, be, be open to thinking about what he's, what he's saying. Um, like I said, it, it's not a perfect series or book line or, or story granted I'm only in the second one but I don't think it's intended to be perfect you know um, I, I like that it can get you thinking so anyway I could ramble on and do two hours talking about each of these books but I won't do that. I won't bore you. I know y'all got more important things to do with your time. So, go check them out. Easily available on Amazon. That's where I got them at. Um, look them up. He's got a Facebook page, too, under uh, Angry American. It's good stuff. Good updates there. So, uh, as always, guys, keep the coffee cup full. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in another one.